Hello everybody and welcome back to Goldcrest Valley. Today we've got quite a busy day. Uh, yesterday, after doing the logging, I didn't really know what to do next, but I have thought of something. Now, this trailer which you can probably see in our rear view mirrors, our wing mirrors, there we go, is the trailer full of straw bales. This was stored up at the pig farm, but I've decided that because we have so many up there already, loads of straw bales, we don't need any more, so we might as well just sell these. We've got probably in the region of 20 to, yeah, probably about 20 bales, so we don't need any more. This is just money sat around. Now, I did have a comment about bales. Somebody said, always take it to, I think it was the, was it the BGA for selling them? Because you get more money that way or something? Um, I think that probably is the case for silage bales. I'm not too sure about straw bales. Uh, but yeah, it's not too bad. £246 per bale. I'm happy with that. Now, this is our field over here. Yesterday we did this. So if you haven't seen us baling this, I did it yesterday with Follow Me. It worked quite well. Um, except for the baler hit a tree. That was the only downside to it. Now this video, the first half, is hopefully going to be all about precision. I'm kind of setting myself up for a fall here <laughs> because I always say it's going to be good and then it isn't. So let's just see. My idea here is to stack this really professionally on the trailer and then strap it on. I really hope I can live up to expectations. We shall see. I think using this trailer will be slightly easier than using the other one. So, yeah, let's just go for it. Now, we do have the ratchet straps attached. I had a suggestion to keep them there. I can't remember the reason behind it, but there was a reason for it, and apparently it will help. Um, so, I will do that. Thing is, though, once again, yeah, the tines, the uh, spikes are not level. But that should be okay. Providing it doesn't roll off the front, hopefully it won't do. So, yep, once again, I have got a sheet in front of me with all the different comments from yesterday's video. Well, not all of them. That would be uh, quite a waste of paper, having to print all that off. So I've just done one double-sided sheet. And I'm hoping there's going to be some good comments in here. I've not read any yet, so it'll be quite interesting to see them. Uh, first one I can see is from somebody called Oliver, and they say, You said 15. I know exactly what they're referring to. Yes, that was a bit embarrassing. I do that when I'm not thinking. Basically, yesterday, I think it was yeah, yesterday. No, it wasn't yesterday. Two days ago, um, I said FS15 instead of FS17 when I was talking about something. Uh, I do it all the time. It's nothing new. Those two seem okay. We'll strap them on as we go along um, because I'm at risk of knocking them off again. So that seems fine. So yes, thank you Oliver and all the other people who did pick up on that. There was quite a few comments. Ah, now, this is a comment which is... <laughs> wow, how liked can you be? It's had so many different likes. Somebody was moaning about the dolly trailer we have, our grain trailer. And, yeah, clearly you don't want me to have it anymore. You want us to change it. Okay, we will do. And for all of you head-binting people, we will also get rid of it for you. I now remember why we have to put the ratchet straps on first. Very good suggestion. It's so you can see exactly where they are, so we know where to strap it. That is such a good idea. I knew there was some reason for it. Um, so yeah, that is definitely going to help. Someone called Alan was just telling me how to do the filters. We did establish how to do that, but thank you very much, Alan. Basically, it's the map filters. I didn't know how to put the icons back on again, but I do now. For everyone who doesn't know, I did show you in yesterday's video, so check that out and you should be able to see. 
Ah, yes, this is an interesting comment. When are you going to continue your Kubota B2100 restoration? I'm actually working on it, well, not right now, but I have just been working on it today. Um, I'm compiling the video. It's a slow job because so many of the different bolts and stuff have really seized. So I'm having to cut them all off. And to save having a 20 minute video of just cutting bolts off, I'm trying to keep all the best fits in. Um, so yeah, video is work in progress. It shouldn't be too long. So for all of you who are interested in my other channel, um, yeah, it shouldn't be too long at all. And to save everyone from asking what channel is it, it's called Machinery Restorer. It is linked on this channel on the main page. So yeah, for all of you interested, that is my other channel. Right, so next, this one here, stay in place please, that's not good, there we go. Got to really learn to keep this spike level. Okay, next comment. What the, what kind of, <laughs> we have got somebody called, let me just get this right, I don't steal from you YouTube. Okay, sounds more simple than it actually was when I first saw it. It's all one word. And they say, Dagwin do fall around Friday. Ask people for glitches or something to look for. Do it in a few months or so. Okay, so that's quite a good idea. I don't know if there'll be any glitches to look for. Maybe like Easter eggs in the game. Interesting things to go for. Fall around Friday. I suppose it works. So yeah, thank you for your suggestion. We may well do a full around Friday. Okay. So yeah, usually I do a lot of stuff off screen, but just for this first part of the video I'm not doing, just because I want to try and prove that I can actually stack bales, because from all of my other videos, it's not really looked too good. My stacking skills have looked awful. So I want to just sort of prove to myself, if nothing else, that I can sort of uh, vaguely stack a bale trailer. It's not going to be double layered though because there won't be enough bales for that. I wish there was. It's just going to be a single layer. Not sure why I've got a frame drop. Slightly annoying. Hopefully it's not showing up in the video. I think it must be. I'll try and sort it out. Hopefully that's better. I do find using a front loader, I've said this before actually, um, I find using a front loader for bales much easier, but I find a telehandler for other stuff easier as well, so <laughs> kind of weird, that's why we need both tools, can't use just one, which wouldn't really work on a, a real farm. And finally we have just one more bale over here, hiding behind a tree. Yeah, we're still lagging a bit, not sure why. Still hoping to get a new computer very, very soon, so if it is performance issues from the hardware, then that'll also be rectified. I'm still trying to decide whether or not to build one or just buy one ready-made. Usually I build them from scratch because it's cheaper, but these days it's starting to get to the stage where there isn't much of a difference in price. You can work it out for yourself and stuff, and you can work out how much it will cost if you do it yourself, and how much it will cost if you buy it ready-made, and yeah, there isn't much in it. So then you sort of think, well, is it worth it? Most of the time I think, yes, it is worth it, because you get the satisfaction of building it yourself. All right, there we go. Done. Fantastic, if I don't say for, so myself. What do you think? Um, if I remember, I'll try and put a poll on the video. I usually forget, but there should be one top right hand corner. There's usually a little I, and if you click on that, it will come up with uh, the vote. Uh, is this good stacking? Yes or no? Not trying to make myself sound good or anything here, because I know I'm not very good at stacking. It's just this is obviously an improvement to what I've done in the past. This one isn't that straight. So that could have been better. But it's an improvement. Okay. Right. So what we're going to do is not an awful lot with it. We're just going to put it away in the shelter. Probably straight through there. And these are going to be 
for the sheep in the future. We're going to shred them hopefully for feed, if you can do that. So it's not going very far at all. And there we go. Okay, let's just lower that down. It's our strawberry bale spike on the front of there. We could change the colour, but it's a bit of a waste of money. We need to find a different job. We need to go and do something. Oh, I know what we're going to do. Yes, I've just remembered. Where's my fent tractor? Over here. We need to go and plough or cultivate in our cover crop. I don't know if you would usually plough it or cultivate it. You probably would plough it, actually. Um, thing is, our cultivator is much bigger than our plough. So, <laughs> I don't know if I'd be able to bear just doing it with the little plough. We'd have to buy a bigger one. A cultivator would work quite well, but it just won't cover us up as much. This is the oilseed radish. As far as I'm aware, you do just cultivate it or plow it in. You don't harvest it with a harvester. Because you want to be putting that nutrients back into the ground. It's natural fertilizer for the following crop. I'm not sure what the following crop is going to be, but whatever it is, it should really benefit from this. That's the plan anyway. Otherwise, it would have been a total waste of time. There's the super expensive field over there, field number five. It's almost a million pounds. I don't know if anyone can afford that without cheating or playing for a very long time. I suppose if you're very dedicated, you could easily get a million pounds, especially if you're playing on easy mode. But we're on normal, and if you play on hard, well, that's probably going to be next to impossible. Now, we're going to use the GPS again today. Um, yeah, I don't have the comment in front of me, but somebody got very annoyed that I was missing a bit each time. But I've actually been told by a real farmer um, that that is what you can do in real life. So I'm going to take that as, uh, well, what you're actually supposed to do. Right, uh, just what I should do is look at some more comments. I will do in a second. Control W. Um, yep, that's all good. Oh no, 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 no. Nope, that is not all good because we haven't rotated it 90 degrees. That should be better. Yes, I wish it would um, stop lagging so much. I need to put that across a little bit. That's square. Too much. That should be okay. I'm hoping. Okay. So. Enable, lower the cultivator, and off we go. Hopefully that is going to work. And the good thing is, all we have to do at the end is steer. I don't know how you steer. Yes, I don't know how you steer yet. Auto turn. Um, I think we'll just do it ourselves. But, yes, more comments. There's quite a lot of in-depth comments here. Um, Peter says, your map is empty due to you... Or the game turned off the filter. Oh, right, that's another one about the game filters. Fair enough. Thank you very much, Peter. Right, so this is what I do. This is what some people get annoyed about. I'm not sure why. I think it's just a minority. And then we can go straight back up here again. And it can steer for us. Probably could have gone the next step up. But this is cultivating in the cover crop as I said, and yeah, basically it is going to be natural fertiliser we don't have to pay for anything we do need to get a weeder, definitely need to get a weeder because as far as I'm aware the weeder acts as like an organic uh, well not like a fertiliser but it, it gets rid of the weeds instead of having to kill them off with chemicals which is obviously very good um, and it acts like another fertiliser stage so uh, yeah a cedar, no, not a cedar. A weeder would be very good. And then we get to the end again. Oh, wheel slip. Yes, I forgot to mention this tractor doesn't actually have enough power for this thing. Come on! You can do it. Turn across here, and then when it is level, we can press Control W. Thank you, everyone, who said that. And then we can lower it down again. Fantastic. The GPS mod is very good. Except, yeah, I can't believe it. It's 720, what is it? 200 horsepower? Yeah, I think it is. 
just about getting it all. Seems okay. So, I've just opened up the fertilise map, the fertilise map, and you can see where I've cultivated, it's now added the extra layer of fertiliser. It did have the initial layer from the seeding, but it didn't have the second layer, so it's definitely working, that's always good to know. So I've just changed the page over with the comments, and I can see from Daniel, GPS in America is commonly used as well, probably just as popular. Uh, yes, GPS, yeah, definitely, uh, you would have thought with the big open fields. Um, hopefully I'm not sounding too stereotypical there, but yes, I can imagine it is very useful. I've set the working width to 4.6, which is the recommended working width, because otherwise it does miss a bit, as it did do at the top there. So that should help. Right, so as you can see, we have almost finished the field. Just have to go probably up and down there once more, and then we'll be done. Um, yeah, shame that the tractor was... Uh, well, it's, it's right on the limit of the horsepower. It, it can almost pull it perfectly. Just not quite. Right, another comment. This one is from somebody called Misty Doggy, and they say that they have found that when doing logging, if you cut off the pointy tip of the tree, to the very top, you get a better price. Interesting. It could well be true. We're going to have to uh, test that theory out sometime. We will have to see. Um, but yeah, Farming Simulator has always done strange things like that. Um, so yeah, if you cut the top off, you could get a better price. Even though there's less wood, maybe it's easier for them to process it or something. Definitely have to give it a go. Uh, yes, anyway, when we head back down here once more, that will be the job done and we'll have to find something else to do. I think really that is all of our fields worked on. I think 15 needs to be seeded, 24 needs to be cultivated, uh, but they can be done with a worker. Let's just spin around here. Yeah, there's not much space actually. Did that a bit tight. Oh, almost. Looks like we're going to have to come back up just once more to get what looks to be about a metre. Metre in width. Maybe not even that. Half a metre. But yeah, it's nice to have tried out the cover crop. It's obviously something different, something that was never in 15. But I don't know how often I'm actually going to do it. Obviously, it's nice to be green and organic and everything. It's just it takes quite a bit of time, and I think it does actually only act as one fertilizer stage. So we could have just literally gone over this field with the sprayer once, and it would have done the same thing. I think I can't say for sure, but I think it is 30%. Right, diff lock would be required there. We can turn off the GPS. We finish with it. Oh wow, this is struggling. Almost there. And it's starting to go a bit dusk as well. We'll see what we can do. Well, there we go. Field complete, and we should be able to see now on the fertilizer map. Yes, it is very dark, very dark blue. Uh, is that the... Well, for some reason we have lots of dots of uh, even darker bits, but yeah, I think it's the the uh, second fertilizer stage we've just done there. Doesn't need plowing, so that's good. So that is now ready to be seeded. I think a good thing to do is to go and buy our new trailer. It just seems like such a popular thing to do. Most people seem to hate it when I use that dolly trailer. I've just started to get used to it, so I'm not finding it as bad as I used to. I mean, there's nothing wrong with what it looks like or anything. It's just, yeah, it's the dolly. It's quite hard to reverse. But it's getting easier. Plus, it isn't that big, so having a bigger one would be good. I think we'll go and buy something. We're going to spend our money. 
which is something I do quite a lot. Um, and while we're at it, we might as well return the logging trailer as well. I think it's still up at the sawmill. So we'll take that back and uh, return with a new trailer. Oh yes, uh, yeah, the, cult the small cultivator in there. Uh, I've had some requests to sell that as it is so small that we don't really need it. I don't think we're going to use it too often. I'll just put this back into here. Oh, I'm losing it. That's all right. There we go. Fantastic. Okay, up to the sawmill. Here we are in our case, and we did get quite a bit of money. I think it was about sixteen thousand pounds, not profit, but sixteen thousand for roughly what was it, forty-five minutes now of work. Not bad at all. Sounds like good money to me. I think if I was uh, <laughs> if I was earning about sixteen thousand pounds an hour, I'd be quite happy. I think anyone would be. That would be a ridiculous wage. Ah, the Northern Lodge. Now this is one of the best places to go to if you want to get free water for your animals. This is the place in here. Um, you can buy the water if you want to. It's just, for some reason, it's as expensive as red diesel. Or just diesel, I should probably say, because that's going to confuse a few people. There's been no end of arguments about the colour of diesel. I don't know why. Um, red diesel is just rebated diesel in the UK. It probably is red in other countries as well, I don't know. I think in some countries it's green, so I can't say, but uh, yes, this is the best place to go. It seems a bit strange, you're visiting the Northern Lodge with a tractor and tanker. You go onto their personal beach and you fill it up with water. But it's all fun for the, uh, well, there are no guests here. But if there were guests here, it'd be the uh, evening entertainment if you turned up with a tanker. We'll have to do it sometime when it's a bit busier. Right, let's try and reverse this thing. I'm getting the hang of it slowly. Very slowly. That'll do. Which we'll reverse into the forest behind. There we go. I'm actually surprised about how cheap this trailer was to lease. I think it was a very fair price as it's helped us an awful lot. I'm not saying we're not going to do forestry again, it's just we've already done it, so I don't know if it would be in this series again. We might do some wood chipping. Quite a fun thing to do would be to get that very large wood chipper and uh, do that. It's just wood chips, as we know, are not really worth too much. Okay, so here is the store up here. We better stop at the stop sign. Just slam my brakes on. There we go. Probably stopped a bit too short there, but seems clear. And here we are, Morgan's Morgan's Massive Motors. Put it in the box over here. I don't know if it has to be one thing at a time. We shall see. That's fine. But it, oh, there we go. Good. That's working. Oh, we've really benefited there. Okay. So over to the front. We need to now buy our new trailer. Uh, trailers. Tippers. There we go. Something a little bit larger than what we've had already. We can afford it. The Joskin is very nice. I would love to have that Joskin. And we might end up with it. Yes, I think we probably will. And now we have the bigger harvester, it should be able to get the auger over the top of it. So, it should be a nice buy. There it is. I think it's the first time Joskin has featured in Farming Simulator. It's very nice to see it. Why do I always get my chainsaw out? It's like, oh look, something new, let's cut it up. Very weird. I've got it on a shortcut on my mouse and I wish I didn't. I'm going to have to change it. I've been busy changing a lot of settings recently, um, but I totally forgot about the chainsaw. I get it out so many times. I, we could be walking down the street and suddenly we just get this chainsaw out and wield it in front of someone. They would be very concerned. Okay, there we go. Actually, a very good fit. It suits it well. 
so I'm hoping you're going to be very pleased with our purchase. We're going to keep the other trailer because it can be handy if we only have like, I don't know, 3,000 litres to sell. It would be a bit ridiculous using this trailer for it. I mean, it would work. It's just, yeah, we wouldn't have to use something so big. I do find that the colour of the map changes to a much nicer contrast at this time of day or in the evening, about 7 o'clock at night. It does make it look very nice. Right, so uh, this is our turning just up here on the left hand side. We'll be able to take a look at our field which we bought for the 24. Yeah, it does need to be cultivated. I suppose another thing which we could invest in is a new sea drill, probably a direct drill. A direct drill would be good. We only can afford the small fields, so <laughs> we're going to have to just keep building up from the ground. Oh uh, yeah, we need to get a sugar beet harvester, whether it's leased or bought, I don't know yet. Um, because we have field number 19 to harvest too, which should be interesting to see. Looking forward to that. And yeah, I probably should get the worker on this field here. It needs to be seeded. Field number 14 is seeded already, so that's all done. And some more placeables wouldn't go amiss either. That would probably be a nice thing to do. Get a few more placeables in here. In fact, I might have a quick browse. I'll have a quick browse of the placeables. So, over here. The water tower, that probably wouldn't be a bad idea, it's just as we now know where to get the water cheap, uh, we wouldn't, wouldn't have to pay a penny. Yeah, that is okay, it's just I think we'll get the wheel one because it's easier to get it to the forest, unless we just had it in the forest continually. Silos I don't think we'll ever use because we never really have enough in there. The storage is the main thing, and obviously stuff like the, uh, the wind turbine. The solar panels actually, we can afford it, it's just it would wipe out nearly all of our money, so that wouldn't be a very good idea. Although, £90 an hour, that's okay, but it's not enough to get this back. 125 wow, that is expensive. All the other stuff I think is just for decoration. So you can sort of modify your own map quite a lot more than you used to. So uh, yeah, the placeables have expanded. And this thing, oh, you nice thing, but you piece of junk. You're so expensive. Hang on. I feel like I've been ripped off. I've just seen. It makes it look really nice from this side, and you go around the back, and it's just a shipping container. <laughs> Although shipping containers are good. Um, yes. This is, this is not good. Still, it wasn't too expensive. Hang on. It was £65,000. That is one expensive shipping container. I'm sure it was. It was 65,000. 68,000. Wow. That is expensive. Okay. Um, oh, yes, this needs to be sorted out too. They might be okay. Actually, what we could do is just, you know, have this as our fertilizer area and then have this as our seed area. That should be sold, actually. It really doesn't need to be here. And I've sort of failed with the keeping this place neat again. Where's the cedar? There it is. In that case, I think we'll put the fence tractor on the cedar. We'll take it to the field ready, make sure it's got enough fertilizer in it. And then tomorrow while we're doing something else, it'll be able to get on with seeding field 15. Yeah, it should have enough actually. Although, yeah, it's a bit low on seed. We could probably do it a little bit more. I think 46% will be enough. It's just we don't want to run out halfway through. So let's just top it up. There we go. And while we're here, fertilizer two. And then we'll do all this tomorrow. It'll be a new day. And we'll obviously go to bed very soon. That'll do. Brilliant. Oh, I also uh, washed the New Holland tractor before I started this recording, so 
does look a lot neater than it used to. There we go, I feel to be parking tractors at this field all the time. Little habit of mine, leaving tractors next to a field. Right, so, hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope to see you again in the next one. Until then, where's my door? Oh, it's there. See you again soon. Bye for now.